let me show you a nice little device to um, provide some supplemental heat to your house in the winter time. Uh, this is a dryer kit. Um, let me just show you this first and I'll turn it off. Uh, I've got a thermometer sitting right in front of this fan. It shows to be 85 degrees, but it feels hot on my skin. And if my skin is 98.6, I'm thinking uh, this air is much hotter than that. But um, let me turn it off and then I'll talk a little more about this neat little device. But first, let me show you this. As most of you know, your dryer, uh, when it vents, it vents with forced air. And as you can see from this little piece of paper, that is strong. The air is being blown out strongly. So, and now, let me turn it off and show you. Now what this is, is a box that is uh, connected to your dryer. This hose is uh, from the dryer. This is the outlet hose from the dryer. Comes into the box, exits the box, and goes down outside. Unless it's winter time and you want to keep the heat in the house. At which point you open it up like that. When it's closed, it is going from here outside. You're not putting heat in your house, which is what you don't want uh, in the summertime, especially here in Tejas. So, uh, but in the wintertime, it is wonderful to have not only heat, but some humidity supplied inside your house. So what we do is flip this open. It diverts, it diverts this pipe. It stops going down this pipe and outside and diverts it to where the heat coming from the dryer is coming straight out here and blowing inside the house. And as you saw, it was blowing very hot. Um, if you if your house is and now this for me blows from a utility room straight into the kitchen so um, if you're if you have a, a room where you have your washer and dryer uh, your dryer especially that um, can um, is attached to your house is part of your house then uh, this will certainly do it if you've got it in a garage shop building whatever you can heat your garage with it but um, I'm gonna put a link to um, one that I found on Amazon. This is one that I uh, found at a local uh, hardware store. And basically it comes with the clamps to clamp it down. Uh, I think I replaced, uh, this is kind of a smooth plastic and the clamps were sliding off. So I put a, a better clamp on this side. And I taped this one down with some heavy duty tape um, to the top of the dryer. You could mount it to your wall if you wanted to do that. Um, you'd have to drill some holes. I suppose you could drill some holes through the back and mount it to the to your wall. But uh, in some way, or, or, or some way, affix it to to the top of the dryer or to the wall to keep it uh, steady because you're going to want to be flipping this back. And forth. So the other day we had the wood stove going and it was very warm. And then my wife dried some clothes. And I said, <laughs> it was it got hot. So, uh, but it supplies, especially if you've got wood heat or any kind of heat during the summertime, during the wintertime, um, dries your house out. This can, uh, this can and will put a lot of humidity back in your house, which we need down here when we've got the wood stove going. Uh, just an amazing little deal. It comes with a lint screen and, uh, let's see if I can get that on there with one hand. Put the lint screen on it. And this will stop up, you know, you might have to do that every two loads, have to clean your lint filter out. And, uh, but just close it up. I, I here lately have been leaving the lint filter off, you know. Yeah, what's a little more vacuuming for my wife, right? <laughs> she doesn't mind that at all. Uh, I really, really think you'll like it. This is a neat little gadget uh, to put, I mean, what you're doing when you dry clothes using a clothes dryer, if you're pumping it outside in the wintertime, you are losing hundreds, if not tens of thousands of BTUs. This uh, lets you capture those BTUs and send them into the house. You will be absolutely surprised at how much a load of clothes will do for the inside temperature of your house. You ought to get you one. I will put a link down below the video. You know what I do down in the description box below the video to this uh, to one like this. It's not the exact one, 
but it does the same thing. It's got the uh, it's got the lint filter. Uh, it comes with clamps. It comes with some plastic clamps. You may want to go with a, more of a, uh, a hose clamp like that. And uh, how you mount it is up to you. I use some good uh, silver. Um, it's not duct tape. It's uh, silver backed. Gosh, I don't know what they call it. I'll put a link to that. I'll find some. Put a link to that below too. I think you will really, really like this vent. I've probably talked about it way too long, but I am. Uh, what I used to do is just put a, a pair of old pantyhose on the dryer vent, and um, and then you know just to catch the lint, and then. Um, but the problem with that was I couldn't. When we had a warm day, I couldn't unpantyhose it you know I couldn't reroute the hose because I don't want to have to get back here behind the dryer I didn't want I couldn't reroute it to uh, to let the air back out so this just with the flip of a switch uh, I send air outside or I do that and I send the air inside to warm the house man it does a good job you will absolutely be surprised you're gonna need an extra hose I don't know that that comes with an extra hose it comes with two clamps but I think you're gonna need probably an extra maybe six foot hose it depends on how tall your dryer is this this dryer is up on a pedestal so it's pretty tall it's about four at least four feet tall so I need some some extra hose on that so you may or may not uh, your mileage may vary but I'm telling you what I thinks you're gonna like it. Get you one. We're gone.